We just got back from Tennessee. We won our class. We got eighth overall. And here are the five things that we learned to win a rally. If you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Add your comments in the comment section. We look forward to talking with you soon. So the first thing when you want to win a race is you have to have the goal. So making sure the clear, we had a clear goal of winning the rally. We shared that goal with the team, with my family, with my co-driver Glenn. It was all clear with everyone involved that the goal of the rally was to win. This was kind of the first time for me that we actually had that as the goal. I've raced and all the racing that we've done up to this point was just to see how well we finished. The difference between winning and seeing how fast you can finish is that you actually might want to go slower so that you can preserve the car, preserve the, your own drive. So the second thing that we did going into this rally was we actually started at an 80% pace. Rather than going out and seeing how fast we could go from stage one, we actually purposely went a little slower to see if slow was good enough to win. Uh, Roberto pressured us and, and showed us that he had some pace this last weekend. So by the end of the second stage we ran, which was stage one and three, we were 39 seconds behind. And I told Glenn, my co-driver, if we got more than 30 seconds behind, we were gonna turn it up. So that's when we started stage four and we decided to push. So that's the third thing that we did this rally was we knew when we wanted to go for it. It was nice on stage four was actually the second time we ran the stage called Wasp. And so we, were, we already ran the stage, we already saw it once. We were able to dial the brakes and the tires into a place where we knew we were going to push. The road was a little rough, but honestly it was one of the best stages that I've ever seen really cool tight twisty road so when we started stage four we were going for it and by the end of this stage we were a minute and 10 seconds faster than the first running through oh that felt good yeah that felt a lot better than the second one good job so fast even one of the other competitors came up to me at the start of the next stage and said that we had an error in our time card and that there was no way we went that fast which was a pretty cool feeling to be honest. So after stage four, we were getting ready to start stage five. I looked behind me and there's Tim O'Neill driving up. Roberto was between us. Apparently your buddy's trying hard. Which one? Oh, where'd he go? Upside down the middle of the road. <gasps> Who? Roberto. Oh. That means our plans changed and that we had to slow our pace back down. And that was the fourth thing that we learned was how to race smart when we were ahead. For me, I always like to see how fast I can go. I want to push the limit. I want to get to the edge, but the goal was to win the rally. So we get to the start of Saturday night stage, the Timo Super Sun stage. It's a bigger crowd than anywhere else in the rally. There's two jumps on at the Newport Speedway, and it's something where <laughs> I want to go for it. I want to send it. My crew around me is reminding me the goal is to finish. My co-driver is reminding me the goal is to finish. I'm still sitting there trying to decide if I'm going to send it. My wife calls me from the stands with my kids and tells me the goal is to finish. Don't over, don't oversend it. So I was more conservative on Saturday night than I probably wanted to be, but again with the goal to actually finish. <laughs> that was a tough part with the goal to win. We had a lot of notes this weekend that told us where, where we would break our car. There was even sections that we called broken axles. Five left short, rough axles. Two years ago when I did the Rally Tennessee for the first time, I broke my axles there. So it's there are known sections of the rally that are rough. And with the stock Fiesta ST, the axles can be a definite weak point. So it's just something that I had to be more conservative in sections. I was able to push it at other times. And that was definitely the fourth thing that we learned. The fifth thing that we did was spend the money to win the rally. We went in with eight new sets of the Michelin LTX Force tires, which were definitely the right tire for the weekend. We were the, one of the only teams that we knew of that got through the whole rally without a single puncture, and that's a huge amount of stage miles on those tires. Being a two-wheel drive car, eight tires got us through. And then the other thing that we did, because we shared the goal with the team, the goal was to win. Uh, Ryan Thompson and TRF asked on Saturday night if they could switch out the axles, which is a known weak point of the Fiesta, a stock Fiesta ST, and just as a preventative maintenance item. 
So we spent a little bit more with the plan to win the rally and it all went to plan. We were grateful to lean on everyone's help to actually get the chance to win. And in first place in limited two wheel drive, we have car 965, Chris Sear and Glenn Ray. As a bonus, I got to share the win with my family. It's something that they got to see the videos of me winning back at 100 Acre Wood. And Travis Pastrana, he pressured me into doing a shoey. So I promised my kids if I ended up winning that we would do another one. And the kids love to watch me do the shoey on top of the podium. And now I'll have that memory forever. Thank you guys for joining us. And those are the five things that we learned to win the rally. If you guys have any questions or comments, please throw them in the comment section. We look forward to talking to you soon.